Often after the loss of someone who was significant in our lives, people ask questions that are difficult to answer. One of these can be, are you married? The reality is, our spouse may have died, and legally we may not be married, but we still feel married, and we still consider ourselves to be married. I remember my mother saying, when I married your father, it was for life, his life and my life, and she always considered herself married to my dad, and that's fair enough. Other questions might include, how many children do you have? And if you've lost a child, do I have two children or do I have three children? Sometimes we have to respond by saying, I have three children, but one of them isn't with me anymore. And if people care enough to pursue the question, you can tell them exactly what's what. But I think there's a deeper issue here. It really has to do with my identity. When a spouse dies, you're forced to ask yourself, who am I now in the light of my loss? Am I married? People are looking at me differently. People are perceiving me differently. I'm thinking of myself differently. Who am I now? I'm trying to form a new identity. When a child dies, am I still a parent? Or has that changed everything? Again, it's to do with our identity and how we see ourselves. Fundamentally, what we lose is a part of ourselves when anyone we care about dies. And I think the real challenge is coming to accept ourselves. Life is different now. I'm still the same, but I'm different. And how do I coordinate these two to know that my life is significant and meaningful?